Hello, hello, my name is Sean, aka the Cockney Charmer, and welcome to my channel. This is my first chance to have a look at Outriders from People Can Fly, published by Square Enix. We are literally an hour after the demo has launched for PC, PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. Um, I am playing the PS5 version of the demo. And I just wanted to check out the character creation. Now, full disclosure, up to this point, everything I've seen about Riders has been disappointing. It looks like they've taken everything from Division and everything from Destiny and smooshed them together. Um, so for me, this demo is going to go a long way even to convince me that this is something to invest in. Or, as we have learned from the Anthem news that broke yesterday, like Anthem, is this a game that has a very short shelf life because he's going to have problems. So, here we go. Oh, oh look! It's a cursor! Where have we seen that before? Hello, Destiny. Right, well, let's just have a, let's have a look and see what we can, what we can customise here. Yep, this is very, very basic. Now, the demo is the entire first act, or first chapter of the game, according to the, uh, the Outriders broadcast that was uh, yesterday, on February 24th, ahead of today, the 25th, when the demo's gone live. And very much, it is very similar to Destiny. Generic default faces. Um with very minimal customization. Yeah, again, this is very... This is very Destiny. I mean, this is very much what you'd expected from the Destiny. I mean, Destiny has always had, from Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, the Guardian creator feature has always been very limited very dull. But I will say the hair looks slightly better on PS5. Install size was let was 18 and a half gig for PlayStation 5. The Xbox Series X and S version is 18.9. Uh, the demo is supposed to run at 4K in 60 frames per second. Can't seem to go too um, too crazy on the uh, on the hair colour though. Hairstyles are just okay. Um, and of course, your various facial hair. Although the beard does, the beards do look quite good. I will say that the beards do look quite good. Tashman, however, it's now that's the male side, which is also very, very limiting. So let's have a look what we can do with the. Interesting, face colour wise. No, you are you kidding me? So the same. <laughs> right, so the men and the women virtually have the same hair. Bit of a Viking vibe going on there. You see, you can't even have a redhead. Okay, well, this has more options then. Uh, that's better. I had a funny feeling it was makeup. Okay. I, I must admit, I will add a battle scar to all my main heroes. 
you know, they've proven themselves in battle. I've got to say, the female characters do look a lot better than the male characters. But, like Destiny, you cannot seemingly choose a voice either. So it's going to be the default voice that they all have. Okay, so let's see what happens now. I think we'll go... Every hero needs... He can't have a space. <laughs> Why is it whenever you, you create a character, it's the naming part that always has the issue? Always has the issue. Um... <sighs> Because I've been playing some Final Fantasy, so we can make up my PS5. Right, save the character. Thank you for playing the Empire's demo. Before you land on Echo, here are some key things to be aware of. This demo encompasses the opening chapter of the game in full. Any progress you make can be carried over to the main game. There are many side quests and areas to explore. You will be introduced to all early. Game mechanics, although those systems such as crafting will only unlock when you've travelled beyond the demo area. Okay. Drop in, drop out co op will become available once you have selected your class. Please see the news tab for more information on multiplayer and crossplay. It should be said, this uh, the demo does have full cross or end the game will have full cross platform support. So even the demo has it. Although with the demo you have to manually turn it on. So that means that PlayStation 5 can play with PlayStation 4. It also means that PlayStation can play with Xbox on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PC. Which is brave to kick off with. Okay. So we have our character Erith. It does seem as though we have to pick a class, so that's going to be our next video, story-wise. So yeah, so customer creation-wise, that was very limited, and that was very Destiny. The, just having a cursor that you can move around is Destiny. It feels Destiny. It So far, it look, I like the menus. I mean, the menu system works for Destiny, and they've just outright lifted it. Um, so... Those are my concerns. How much of this is actually original and how much of this is actually taken away from other games. But for now, for this video, got to say, I'm not exactly swimming in enthusiasm. But it looks as though they've got the evils. Yeah, so they've got the. Okay, new section. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so for video one, I'm going to leave it there. Um, the next video will be me playing the prologue, which will probably be actual gameplay, seeing the world engine on PS5, and choosing a character class. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Please do drop a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I would really love to hit 500,000 followers soon on YouTube. That would be awesome. But, until next time, be safe, be lucky, and let me know in the comments if you're playing this demo. Bye-bye for now.